tolerable misstatement that we can work with as we go into those accounts. Same thing is true for establishing tolerable misstatements for the disclosures to the financial statement. Related parties, uh, identification of uh, accounting for and disclosure of transactions with related parties. Note that an entity is related to a reporting entity if among other circumstances, it is a parent, subsidiary, fellow subsidiary, associate, or joint venture. So we're talking about related type of parties in these transactions. And just like if we're talking about individuals and we were related parties to say siblings or something like that, or, or family members, then we know that transactions between those related parties are going to be a mess. They're not going to follow normal, what we would expect market type of behavior. And therefore we need to know who the related parties are and how are they going to be recording information to the related parties. So we're thinking about those entities that are related to them. And we know that like family relationships with business transactions are going to be funny. And so once we know that who the related parties are, we want to know what the transactions are with them and how those transactions are taking place. So we're going to inquire about the names of the related parties, the nature of the relationship, uh, the types of transactions with those related parties, reasons for entering into the transactions with the related parties. And again, if we look into these things, obviously the reasons for transactions with related parties could differ substantially than what we would expect for the reasons of transactions for parties that were not related. In other words, if you have a business transaction with a party that's not related to the company, then of course it's probably due to the fact that the company needs revenue generation being the objective in some way, shape or form. We paid for something in order to have revenue generation in some way, shape or form to help us with that process. Related party transactions, it could be a little bit more uh, convoluted as to what was the nature or reason of a particular type of business uh, transaction. And of course, we will document the audit strategy, audit plan, and prepare audit reports. Got document about audit tests. We want the nature, the timing, and the extent. So when we have this documentation, we want to be documenting nature, timing, extent. Document how the entity is managing risk and the effects of the risk on controls on the planned audit process. Audit supervision, engagement partner, and other supervisory members uh, tell the engagement team members their responsibilities, of course. Instruct engagement team members to identify and communicate, communicate audit issues and review the work of engagement team members.